Hey there, this is Tom. Uh, I'd like to welcome you YouTubers for tuning in today. Um, this is my first video, so bear with me. I usually do uh, podcasts for the uh, Nashville Cigar Club. Um, we haven't done one of those in a while, and um, I've kind of moved on to a little bit leaning more towards pipes right now because it's winter time, and usually in the cooler months, I enjoy a pipe. Going to be smoking some Penzance, which uh, is from uh, Esoteric, which uh, after visiting a few of the, the forums on the internet, a lot of people kept saying how hard it was to get. I kept reading great reviews on it. Uh, sometimes when I smoke a pipe, I kept, there was just something missing when I was smoking. And I, I think what I finally concluded, I like the English blends more than I do the aromatics. And uh, Everybody kept talking about how strong Penzance was and um, how great it is, but you know it's got a, it's kind of a medium to full. And usually with cigars, I like a full body cigar. I smoke a lot of Tats um, and a lot of Camacho cigars, things like that. So uh, La Flor Dominicana, that's another one of my favorites. That's a little bit more on the full body end of the cigar spectrum. So um, I was very excited. So I bought two ounces of it. And I'll tell you, when I opened the jar, because they had it in bulk, and just the, the aroma of it is, it's a little different from what I'm used to. Uh, it just is a, it's just a real musky barn. It's not like an old tobacco barn, maybe. Um, really about I don't know it's a I don't pick up a lot of the the plum and some of the other things that some of the guys said that they were getting from it and uh, but anyway I, I figured I'll you know pick up a bag and try it so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna break it up and we'll uh, see how that goes <laughs> I'm gonna put it in a pipe uh, we'll probably have a few distractions my dog apparently thinks that when I'm at my desk she can sit in my lap so that's what I keep looking down at in case it looks kind of awkward for me to be reaching around uh, let's see um, with that said I'm not gonna I'm not, I'm not just exactly what I was worried about so um, hold on. <laughs> she'll probably sit here so because something's wrong, severely wrong with her. She has severe separation anxiety, and her name's Trini. She's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Uh, it's my first first one of these. Um, love the breed. Um, a lot of people think she's a pit bull. She's yeah, she's it's, it's she's in that bully breed, but she's more of a I don't know more of an English breed. And uh, we actually bought her from a breeder that was in um, North Carolina. <laughs> and the funny thing was, is when she was a puppy, they had to fly her to us. So we probably spent more than we should have on a dog. But either way, I mean, as much money as I blow on cigars and other things, you know, kind of going overkill on a dog is, I don't know. I don't, after, after we've had her for a year, I honestly, she, I would have paid twice what I paid for her. She's a great dog. But anyway, uh, today we're going to be doing the the uh, Penzance. I'm going to be using my uh, Peterson. Uh, this is the March 2006 um, St. Patrick's Day edition. Uh, it's a model 999, and it's got a uh, a fishtail stem. So, and it's probably my, my most used pipe. It's my daily smoker. I am. Um, going to be distracted several times apparently but uh either way um uh, this is a, it's got a nice cake in it I, i've had this one since 2006 but i smoked off and on and i didn't smoke often enough to to really say i'm a pipe smoker but now uh after watching a few of your videos and kind of got inspired to do this myself so with that said we're gonna we're gonna break up a little bit of this penzance and that's what another thing that was different about this is i usually when i buy pipe tobacco i that's the first time I bought a flake like this where that you have to break it up. Usually I buy just the whatever's already already shredded up. This is the consistency of this. I'll see if you can see this in the video. It's kind of a dark um, flake. Real, real musky smelling. I mean, it's surprisingly, and a lot of people say to let this dry a little bit. So I'm going to it's kind of it's a little damp but since it was in a jar in bulk i would say you know if, if i'd bought it in a tin i would probably leave the lid off and, and rest it like a lot of people say to do i will admit i have already smoked some of this yesterday when i bought it 
I actually smoked four balls of it yesterday, so that just kind of gives you a good idea of how much I enjoy it. Anyway, let's pack this pipe up. And I have no idea how I look on video, so I'm a little leery of that too, so. All right. So, let's just stuff it full. That way we'll have something to last me through the whole however long I decide to record this for. And again, I mean, this is just more of an intro. I'm not going to try to really go into an in-depth review of this. Um, I will say that eventually as my as I get used to smoking pipes more often, I'll probably um, get more into the flavor profiles and stuff like that. So One thing I did forget to do was get me something to drink with this. There, that's better. So, this pipe practically smokes itself. If you see the smoke come out in here, it's actually got a really good, good draw on that. Still, just not quite right. And it could be just because the. Uh, the moisture content in this it is a problem is with the the penzance what i've read is if you let it dry too much and you crumble it it crumbles to dust so there's kind of a a, a fine line there that you don't want to cross and especially um well, i don't know some people some people like their tobacco a little drier i've, I've like i said i've been frequently uh, perusing a lot of the forums and um noticed that a lot of people have different opinions on how dry it should be. It's not like cigars where everybody's like, you know, they stay between a certain range. Um, and of course, you know, I've got a six foot humidor behind me here. It's a, uh, I've got a little bit of an obsession with, with uh, tobacco and um, apparently cigars, so. Another reason I wanted to do an intro video today was because I actually ordered some stuff um, mon uh, last Tuesday, and it should be here Monday. I ordered some pipe tobacco, so uh, some different ones that we'll probably do some reviews on. I just wanted to, you know, before I do a box open, I don't want this is my, my first video to have a me opening and going through a box. Everybody wondering who is this guy. And then again, probably still wondering that now. So either way, the Penzance was. Um, Again, was very hard for me to find. Uh, I know a lot of you buy it and stock it. Uh, it seems like a lot of the esoteric stuff, uh, I think it's a Stonehaven and some of the others, it seems like a lot of people say stock up on because it seems like they come and go um, or they sell out fast. And after tasting this, uh, definitely this is this is actually um, second day smoking. I can honestly probably say that right now this is my favorite pipe tobacco. I had went through a few, uh, I think Lane uh, 1Q or LQ, or I think it's 1Q, um, was more of an aromatic, a little mild, no bite. That's usually what I always smoked uh, when I did smoke a pipe. It just, it's just never, it never really, didn't, never really set well with me. I'd, I'd smoke it, but I honestly just didn't enjoy it. It, um, I picked up another, a couple other aromatics that people suggested and ran into the same thing and then once I started smoking some English blends um, I'd realized that that's this more in my my uh, palate it's more suitable to my palate because I like the Penzance I also bought a uh, an ounce of uh, the squadron leader which is real popular with the tobacco crowd or pipe crowd and man I smoked it back to back with the Penzance and loved them both so I'm gonna tell you uh, I think if you're a cigar smoker going to pipes, probably the English blends are going to be more for you. I, I noticed that even when I smoke cigars, I cannot stand flavored cigars. I hope I'm not offending anybody. If you like, you know, like the CAO Moon Trance or um, you know the Java cigars, you know Cognac. I just uh, some of those are considered uh, pipe tobacco cigars. And I mean, if you're going to smoke pipe tobacco, then 
get a pipe. I, don't, I mean, if you want a cigar, get a cigar. Now, one thing I did order uh, that came as a just suggestion was a uh, Purple Cow, which somebody said has a Maduro uh, c cigar um, tobacco in it. So, um, I'm, I bought it. I don't know if I, I'm, I'm sure I like it if it has Maduro in it, but. Um, again, if I want to smoke a cigar, if I want a cigar flavor, I'll smoke a cigar. If I want pipes, then I want to smoke a pipe. So I just, um, I'm not real sure if I'm going to like that or not, but it, it came highly recommended by some of the guys on the cigar forums too. So uh, that's, um, but it, again, like I said, if you're going from, if you're, a, if you're a cigar smoker, you like medium to full body cigars, I think maybe try, try some of the English blends. Uh, pick up something. At first, it's going to seem a little odd, a little harsh to you. Um, when I first when I first tried the that black lung, I kind of had a feeling I wasn't going to like it, and then I put it out and I dumped what was left in the ashtray because they let me taste it while I was at the cigar shop. Uh, as soon as I dumped it in the ashtray, I realized I did like it. It was just an aftertaste that I, that I had gotten from it. So I actually turned around and after he saw me dump it out, I actually turned around and said, "Hey, let me get let me get an ounce of that too." So and that's what I smoked all. I guess Monday and Tuesday, that's pretty much all I smoke. I would uh, definitely, if you haven't had the Penzance, I would definitely say it's worth a try. I would not go out and buy a tin of it unless you unless you do like some of those others that I discussed. Uh, you know, like if you've had Pirate Cake or if you've had Ten Russians, then you'd probably like Penzance. I've had some people say they actually like one or one or more over over the Penzance, but then. I get very strong uh, feedback on Penzance, so I'm glad I, I'm glad I seeked it out. I'm glad I found it, and now I'm glad I'm getting to smoke it. So, and people ran out of food. Giant can of Vector. Probably not a good idea to do this around a lit pipe. Alright. Not 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 a good sign. There we go. Alright. Something else I picked up this uh, this week was some um, Orlick uh, Golden Slice. Uh, I see a lot of people um, recommend this. It seems like a lot of it seems like everybody's YouTube video I've watched at one time or another has mentioned this or they're smoking this. So um, I haven't had it yet. Actually, to be honest with you, I was actually struggling with the can, but it looks like it looks like it's vacuum sealed. So probably once I break the seal, it'll probably come right open. But to be, to be honest with you, I struggled with it yesterday, and then I just decided I didn't want to open it yet because I wasn't going to smoke it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to edit <laughs> if I'm going to edit videos. Um, I may just record these and just put them up. I don't think I'm going to get into the the flash, the splashy, uh, crazy explosion intros with the playing some music and stuff like that. I don't get in have a deal with uh, YouTube taking my videos down because I'm using a copyright song or something. So um, I'm still going to we'll, we'll probably add some stuff as we go. But again, I just I'm gonna wait and see how this works out. Hell, this 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 uh, video here may not even make it to YouTube. So if you're watching it, I guess I flipped a coin. <laughs> so all right, well I'm gonna wrap this up for since this was just an intro. Uh, again, um, if you haven't had the Penzance, definitely worth a shot. If you have had it you already know and I'd like to hear your feedback if you've smoked it and didn't like it uh, or if you do uh, comment on this video and let me know I'd, I'd, I'd love to hear what you guys thought of the uh, the Penzance and uh, if you have some other suggestions for me to try that's in that flavor profile I would love to hear from you so with that said we'll wrap this up and uh, finish this pipe have a good day